Sir. Good to see you. Good to see you, Senator Vance. Thank uh, you. Two quick questions. Uh, one, uh, who's going to potentially replace you in Ohio uh, if you become vice president, maybe Vivek Ramaswamy? Uh, the second question is, uh, a lot of uh, supporters of yours I've spoken to in Western PA, I'm based in Pittsburgh, uh, have asked me, when is uh, Senator Vance going to endorse the PRO Act or uh, you know, some kind of act to protect uh, the right to, for unions to organize nationally? Sure. Um, will you support such legislation? So on, look, on the first question, I don't know if you all agree with me, but I'm pretty superstitious. So knock on wood, we'll worry about who's going to replace me after Donald Trump and I are elected president and vice president. And until then, I'm not going to think about it. Now, on, on, on the question about the PRO Act, so first of all, one of the things that we're very proud of on this campaign is that if you look, according to the Teamsters' own poll, 65% of Pennsylvania's Teamsters support Donald J. Trump for president. That is something we're very proud of, because these are people who build this country, who make it run. We're thrilled to have their support. Now, look, there, 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 you, you asked about the PRO Act. Now, here, here's the problem with the PRO Act is in some ways it doubles down on a lot of the failed things that we've done instead of looking uh, at American labor policy as something that's going to be better for the 21st century than it was in the 20th century. If you actually, and, and look, I, I, I believe in the right of workers to unionize if they choose to do so. But private sector union participation went from about 33% when my papa was a union steel worker, he was actually a welder, just like Bill, 33% um, to now it's about 7%. So we have to ask ourselves, what public policies have we enacted that have driven private sector union participation so low? I don't think we double down on what's on the failed model. We got to think about a new model for the 21st century because that's going to be better for American workers. It's going to be better for American companies. And most importantly, it's going to mean higher pay for people who work hard and play by the rules. And that's what Donald Trump and I are all about.